Jeff Howe here once again for Horns247.com here as always with my co-host on the Longhorn Blitz podcast, Lifetime Longhorn 2002 UT All-American Rod Babers. Rod, right now Texas 2-2, two and two, more importantly 1-0 and in the Big 12 after a win against no Kansas State. I don't know what it means, but it doesn't mean what 1-3 and three would have meant. It's not bad, so at least something good Texas can take into the bye week. It was a must-win game for Texas. Even the players kind of understood that sense of urgency. Fans watching the game understood that was a sense of urgency with the guys out there. A certain intensity with the defense. Considering the losses that we had on the offensive side of the ball, no Mike Davis, no Jay Johnson. Obviously, David Ash only came in for a half. I thought we did really good. The three things we had to do to win that game, dominate the line of scrimmage on offense and defense, win the turnover margin, and run the football. We did all three of them very well. The most important thing for me in this game, well, there's two things. Number one, the job Greg Robinson with his defense. He kept it simple. Do basically what we talked about last time. Put eight in the box, and if Jake Waters beats me throwing the football, so be it. He didn't. Yep. Texas wins the ball game. And then two, from the start of the game, from kickoff to the final gun, this was a team that over a stretch of 60 minutes looked like it really wanted to be on the field, really wanted to play the game of football. To me, if you take nothing else from this game, if you're if you're a Texas fan and you're a pessimist and you don't want to take anything from this game, <laughs> take those two things away from this ball game. I'll say the thing that I took that I liked was there were a lot of built-in excuses, right? Uh, banged up on the offensive line, no DeJay Johnson, uh, no Mike Davis. Jordan well, Hicks, Hicks going out. out, you know, David Ash going out, Case coming in. Even the officiating was bad yeah. in that game. A lot of built-in excuses for this team, but they didn't make any excuses. They went out there and got it done. Something else that we've talked about on the podcast all the time was that Texas somehow struggles in those street fight football games, exactly. right? TCU, Oklahoma, K-State, we struggle to win those street fight football games. I want to say in this game, Texas turned the game into a street fight. No doubt. And, and you go back and look at some of the post-game quotes. Tremaine Thompson from K-State actually came out and said, hey, Texas hit us first. We didn't respond well. How many times? Go back through history. A Bill Snyder coach team admitted that a Mac Brown coach team hit them in the mouth and they didn't know how to respond. That, that happens. It happened the last time I think it happened was when I was playing. In 2002. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's how long it's been since Texas had a good run against Kansas State, won two in a row at that time. It's one in a row right now, but it's one of the Texas Longhorns needed 31-21 over Kansas State. We'll be back next time with another video when we look at Texas and Iowa State getting you ready to move on in the 2013 season. Until then, stay locked into Horns247.com. Don't miss the Longhorn Blitz podcast and Everyday Sports Buffet 2-7 to 7 on Sports Talk AM 1300 The Zone with John Medandy Craigway and my man Rod Babers.